Hey everyone and welcome back or if you're new here my name is Josh and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the City Simplicity credit card. So I'm going to be going over the main features of this credit card, its pros as well as its drawbacks. So hopefully by the end of this video you should have a much better idea of whether or not this credit card will be a good fit for you. Now before I go ahead and dive into the main features of this credit card if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like. That just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Also, if you would like to receive a few free stocks in a pinned comment below as well as in the description box, I will be leaving a couple of different links where you can receive just that. Okay, so diving right into the review today for the City Simplicity credit card. First off, I will say that in order to have the best chance to be accepted, you should have a credit score of at least 670 or higher. Now, of course, this is not financial advice. It's very possible that you could have a credit score above that amount or at that amount and still be declined or vice versa. They will take in other factors as well. But jumping right into the main features, starting out with this credit card, probably one of the biggest good features about this credit card is the fact that for the first 12 months on purchases, you will have a 0% intro APR. So perhaps you're in a spot right now where you're short on cash, but you have to make a larger transaction and it's absolutely necessary, not something you can even hold off on. You could always consider putting it on this card and then over the first 12 months of having this card, you will have 0% interest. Of course, after those 12 months are up, you will want to make sure to pay off the card in full because after the first 12 months, your interest will definitely be going up. Now, as far as balance transfers go with this credit card, you'll also have a 0% intro APR offer for the first 21 months. So if you have another credit card at the moment right now that has a higher interest rate that every single month you're paying a lot of interest on, you could perhaps consider transferring that balance from that credit card over to this credit card. And like I said, for the first 21 months, you will have a 0% intro APR. Now, of course, with any balance transfer, there are going to be some fees associated with that, which we will cover later on in today's video. Now, unfortunately with this credit card, at this time at least, there is no spin bonus. A lot of other credit cards out there on the market have some sort of spin bonus. So for example, you might spend like $500 within the first three months. And in return, you'll actually be receiving a $200 spin bonus. With this credit card, unfortunately, there is no spin bonus. Also, there is no cash back. So a lot of other credit cards in the market right now will have cash back offers where for every $100 that you spend, you'll receive, let's say $1.50 or $2 in cash back. So it'll be like one and a half to 2% cash back. Some even more than that, this credit card unfortunately does not offer any type of cash back. This credit card basically has three really great features. First off, of course, that is the 0% intro APR on purchases, the 0% intro APR on balance transfers, and then also the fact that with this credit card, there are no late fees. So yes, you can pay late with this credit card and you won't receive any fees whatsoever. So while that could be a pretty good perk, you will still be paying interest, unfortunately, after the 0% intro APR period is up. So if you like those features so far, let's carry on and talk more about this credit card. So just like all other credit cards out there in the market, of course, you will have a $0 liability on unauthorized charges. That means that if someone steals your credit card number, whether that be online or in the store and they go off and spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on it, you will not be held liable for those charges because you did not authorize them. Okay, so now that I went over some of the main features of the City Simplicity credit card, we're now gonna dive right into the APR and fees because of course that is super important as well. Now, like I mentioned, starting out for the first 12 months of having this credit card, you are going to have a 0% intro APR on purchases. And then for the first 21 months, if you decide to take advantage of the balance transfer offer, that's also gonna be a 0% intro APR. However, after that period is up, you will want to make sure that your card is paid off in full because after that, depending on different factors, your APR will be boosted up to anywhere between 18.99 to 29.74%. Now, as far as your balance transfer goes, if you decide to take advantage of that offer, like I mentioned before, there is going to be a fee associated with that and that fee is going to be either $5 or 3% whichever is greater for the first four months of having this credit card. Then after the first four months, that's actually going to be boosted up to either $5 or 5% of the amount of your balance transfer, 
whichever happens to be greater. Now, if you decide to take out a cash advance, which on this channel, I strongly recommend ever against doing, but if you're in a spot where you absolutely have to, and that's your only option to get some cash, you're in a tight spot, there is going to be a cash advance fee of either $10 or 5% of the amount of each cash advance, whichever happens to be greater. Now, unfortunately with this credit card, if you do happen to travel outside the country, this is a credit card that is going to have a foreign transaction fee. Unfortunately, the foreign transaction fee on this credit card is going to be 3%. So if you do happen to travel outside the country, I would recommend perhaps picking up a Capital One credit card because Capital One credit cards do not have a foreign transaction fee, whereas this one does. So now that I went over the main features of this credit card, as well as the APR and fees, I'm not gonna talk about what the biggest pros and cons are of this credit card, at least in my opinion. So we're gonna start out with the good things. And of course, the first good thing about this credit card is the fact that yes, there are no late fees. So if you happen to slip up and you pay late, with other credit cards out there on the market, you might get slapped with a late fee of let's say like $40, which none of us like to pay any type of fees, especially a $40 late fee. So it is nice that you kind of have that comfort where you won't have to pay any late fees. However, you will have to pay interest if it's after the first 12 months where your APR will go up. So just don't be careless. Make sure that you start, you make sure that you're still paying on time, even though you do have the comfort of not having any late fees. Also for the first 12 months, you will have a 0% intro APR on purchases. And then for the first 21 months, you're gonna have a 0% intro APR on balance transfers. So that is a pretty good perk as well. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the cons now, as we just saw, there weren't really a lot of advantages of this credit card. As far as the cons go, starting out, we're gonna be discussing the 3% foreign transaction fee. Obviously, that's a drawback as well. If you happen to, tra to travel abroad, this is a credit card you probably won't want to take with you. Other than that, a couple of other disadvantages of this credit card is the fact that there is no spend bonus. Practically any other credit card out there on the market right now, you can earn some sort of spend bonus, whether that be $200, possibly more. The fact that this one doesn't have a spend bonus at all is pretty chintzy. And then you're also not going to be earning any cash back either. So the fact that you're not going to be earning any type of spend bonus or cash back, you're leaving hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on the table every single year, not getting those two things. So with that said, this is a credit card I would probably not recommend just because really the only benefit of this card is the fact that you will have a 0% intro APR for the first 12 months. But again, there's other credit cards out there on the market that offer that exact same thing. And of course, there are no late fees, but like I mentioned before, if you do pay late, you're still going to end up paying interest. So if that's some sort of way to incentivize people to pay late, so then they have to pay interest, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. There are several other credit cards out there on the market that I would pick over this one. This would be nearly last on the list of the credit cards that I would go through, especially for someone who has a good to excellent credit score. But that's all I have to say in this review about the City Simplicity credit card. I definitely hope that you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like, consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.